Um, the first tattoo that I ever got were um, seams on the back of my legs and I got these because I remember my grandmother talking about how they had to draw the seams on the back when they couldn't afford nylons during the war. Since I was about 14 I've wanted to be a tattoo artist um, and then you know I went to uni and did all of the graphic design stuff and but it's always been in the back of my head like I still want to be a tattoo artist and then I decided to just hand my portfolio in and get an apprenticeship and I, I did straight away. Prior to working in finance I was working in IT and it was a service desk, desk role and you know they're completely relaxed about that sort of thing there. Uh, the beginning of a sleeve which is inspired by one of my favourite bands called The Addicts for uh, a very early punk band from, uh, from London. They have a lot of uh, clown imagery and a lot of droog imagery, so clockwork orange style thing behind that. It's the uh, Stargate Address from Earth of the TV show of the same name. Uh, I got it because it's basically, I like to wear my geek on my skin. And uh, this is uh, If Found Return To, like that tag on your keys. It's my lucky D20 here from Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, every time I'm feeling a little bit unlucky or I want to get a bit more good luck, I give it a bit of a rub. It makes me feel better. And that one's a little... Japanese inspired piece that was by Matt Wisdom at um, Westside Tattoo. It's actually my OCD octopus because when I was a kid I was diagnosed with OCD and they use the octopus as like a metaphor for panic attacks. I'd never be covered in tattoos for the sake of being covered in tattoos. Like I don't, I don't know, for me it's like a hairdresser with a bad haircut. Like I don't want people to come and see me covered in just the worst ideas ever and I'm giving them a tattoo. Well, yeah, I intend, I intend on eventually being covered, but it's just a work in progress sort of thing. Like, as I want stuff, I'll get stuff. I'm certainly not, you know, intent on being covered from head to toe by the time I'm 25 or anything like that, but... No, you need to be, like, totally covered so you can go to snitch and pick up women. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I intend on. <laughs> The hardcore scene has really expanded and that just comes with like a massive amount of tattoo culture. But there's been a massive increase in demand for tattoos. The first one is a gramophone and it took about four and a half hours and it was mainly for my family and the fact that I had a very musical upbringing. Interesting quirk of this is that before I get any sort of allergy or illness, Babylon's nipples get erect and it's a nice little barometer for my health. I would never tattoo anything like a swastika on someone or, or anything that I don't feel comfortable having my name on and walking around because it's kind of like bad advertising for me. <laughs> uh, every tattoo that I finish is, is awesome. Like it's just like, it's just a really good feeling to go, yes, that's a thing I did. 